I grew up in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and my dad uh, was full Chinese, Cantonese, and my mom was uh, Scotch Irish. And they met in a park in Edmonton, and it was it was uh, pretty hairy in those days. I grew up knowing I was mixed, I, you know, and there was no doubt about it. And I was definitely not invited into the white race. I remember a 10-year-old, 11-year-old girl having a birthday party on my block, and everybody got invited except me because I was half Chinese. You know. The father did not want uh, to mix, you know, have that little half-breed boy there. You know. And these were the people I played with every day, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. So growing up in that environment, you know, with all the rednecks and that, we learned to fight. First thing we did, you know, my brother and I, actually my brother, he was much better. He was older than me, so he, he had to clear the jungle, you know. I always felt second class with white girls, you know, especially the high class white girls, you know, because they'd always be sneaking around to, to, to see me or lying, you know, telling uh, I was Italian or something. <laughs> and then when I started dating black girls, I was like, wow, this was great, you know. I really became a black guy, man. I did. Music, everything. I dressed, talked, tried to talk, but, you know, I, I wasn't very good at When I was in Motown, I, I, I played guitar in a band called Bobby Taylor in Vancouver. And I wrote a song called Does Your Mama Know About Me? But a, a, a guy asking a woman if her, if her mother knows that he's black, or in my case, Chinese. Even though Tommy created the Vancouver's, he was fired from his own band. But around the same time, a bass player named Ray Vaughn handed Tommy two things that would change his life forever. A Lenny Bruce comedy album and a marijuana cigarette. Lenny Bruce exposed the hypocrisy around marijuana and the laws against it, which had been steeped in racism and used as a tool to keep minorities down. It was the jazz musicians who turned it into a sacrament and passed its cultural use down to the beats and the hippies. <laughs>